You know, Rage is a song that captures what what John and me spoke. The first time we, we talked about a concept for this album, we, we asked ourselves, what do we want it to be? We had 13 songs to choose from, and it was really that big question. Why, you know, what would be the first one, you know, the, the message to put out there that this is the new album, this is it. So we were trying to get that that attitude of anger and rage on the song and cheek, 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 cheek. Hey, let me see that mouse man. Uh, uh, uh. Got a fucking character over here. Uh -huh. All right, here All right. you go. contenders we were thinking about starting off with last man standing but you know there then there's other contenders also rage also i think kind of represents the uh the evolution of of count your dead the the step of the next step of where we're going for some reason we just kept coming back to rage that just felt like the song to put out there and you know there's obviously a lot of signature uh, Count Your Dead elements in there, I believe. You know, it's got a really heavy groove to it. Well, after all the things we've gone through, after all the things that happened, we wanted it to be a very angry album, a lot of rage, you know, just to kind of portray how we felt at that time. No drummer. Uh, it was very sketchy on what's going to happen. Are we going to keep going? How are we going to keep going? Uh, so we were trying to get that that attitude of and let's try chorus one. That one part. We'll start from the change, you go into chorus. You gotta practice that part. Fucking it up. Ready? What camera? What'd you want? Mm -hmm. I can do that too. <laughs> it was really the epitome of this album, the message that me and Julio wanted to put out there, that anger, that frustration, all of that built up from everything, from all the time we've invested, from every step we've taken. You know, rage was really that culmination of everything. This song, this song is fucking brutal. Here we go. Clenching teeth that clenching fist That's how it starts and I'll show you how it is We pass the point of no return We come so far, but did we ever learn? It's the way to save ourselves So laugh with me as we burn in the flames I can't stop this now I will never give up or give in There's an esoteric message behind the placement of Rage on the album. Rage is track nine, which in my poetry series, Words of the Mind, in volume two, I have a series of poems called Rage that go up to Rage number eight. So this was actually the ninth installment of the Rage series. This is Rage number nine. The madness shows Rage again and take my hand Come follow me into insanity Now I pull the last one Wrap all what's in my head As far as filming the video, that, that was a neat experience in itself <laughs> Hello? It's worse than a ghost. It's a Julio. Oh, it was like being a kid in a playground for me. 
has such an eerie feel there. The the atmosphere there is knowing how much, you know, life and death was involved in that place. You know what I mean? And also the stories of what's happened there, knowing all of that. It, there was some, some gravity to the situation. Being there in general, just, it had a vibe. Filming in a actual known Texas haunted location, uh, that, that was neat. That was uh, an experience. I remember going over there the first time, uh, about a year or two prior to that, we uh, we did a we did a Halloween gig there. It was really weird, just going down the hallways, just sort of being around that that kind of environment. I'm not saying we saw any ghosts or nothing like that, but I'm not saying we didn't either. <laughs> there was a lot of really weird shit going on. <laughs> those particular days that we were there. Um, I remember the first time that we went, we heard like a, we heard like a glass break and then we looked and we actually caught it on camera too. We, uh, it was, a, it was just like a dead bird or just flew into the window for no reason or, or something. I don't know, but there was just some really weird things that happened in that time frame. I never really came in contact with paranormal entities or anything like that so like i i don't i don't really know a whole lot about it but i think it definitely played a part and definitely gave the the video a darker element so jonathan what are we doing today no for real <laughs> we started in we started in the surgery room and we, we filmed a few things uh, down some of the hallways, some of the rooms getting like little little bits of scenery, stuff that you know you can just sort of throw into the video as the video is going along. I think it, it was just really weird how everything kind of fit, uh, even the performance videos that we did. Uh, all, all just all the angles we got. I mean, we just got really lucky with a lot of really cool shit. Uh, I would film and then I would have Julio follow me around so it was ma mainly just both of us walking around in a circle the entire performance whether it be Jonathan or Julio or whatever going on. We ended up using that light as a means to film each individual band member performing in that one little spot. So the, I don't even know whose idea it was or how we came up with it, but that was essentially where you see all of the shots going around in a circle. We did all of the individual performances and then we ended up moving to the main room or I guess the entrance room rather. And from there we started, uh, we did the, the band performance, we got side shots. It's really, it was really just sort of in the moment, like it, it all, it was all just dumb luck, I think in a lot of ways, but we've, <laughs> we have a knack for dumb luck, I think. And I mean, it was just so cool to see it all, you know, in the end and see what, what it all came to be. for a good six or seven hours i mean it just kind of flew by though i mean we we had such a we had such a blast doing everything you know it, it, it's weird 
we finished filming and the next day uh, our friend Robbie who ran the place tells me that they shut it down for good god I wish we could do it again but right after literally the day after filming they shut it on down shut the building down and I guess it was literally in the nick of time yeah it was it was pretty wild to know that we were the last people in there uh, that was pretty crazy it was a hell of an experience though being in a place like that and it was just such a great opportunity and i'm so you know thankful to all the people who allowed us that opportunity and made it happen for us that was just that was fun so out of all that time the hospital was up and running as many paranormal investigations that happened in that hospital from I know groups from Japan came over different areas. Uh, we were the last group of people doing something in there and we're just lucky enough to have the opportunity to film a music video and it, it turned out pretty good. And it was really fun putting it all together. I think that video came together so fast, faster than pretty much anything else that I think we'd done prior to that. And I think it just stands for how far we've come it's been a long, long journey and it's been a process, but it's really cool to finally see, finally to see things, you know, moving forward and, and in a better direction and more things taking flight, you know, and that makes, that makes it more, that makes it more exciting for the future too. I think that when it comes to upcoming projects, just letting that creative flow go and just seeing what you can come up with.